All right, so let's try to identify some domains and ranges with technology. I'm going to run through how to do this using the TI-83 and Desmos and show you some of the uh, pitfalls, particularly with a graphing calculator. Now, here's the thing. Desmos is awesome, but you can't take it to the AP exam. The TI-83 is uh, permitted on the AP exam, so you want to be very familiar with how to use it. So first thing, graph viewing skills, you want to, one, recognize that the graph is reasonable, like you're not zoomed in too far out or too far in or zoomed out too much that you're not recognizing the characteristics of the graph. And that's what number two is, see all the important characteristics of the graph. You want to, three, be able to interpret those characteristics, like do you have a vertical asymptote, do you have a point where the graph jumps or skips, and recognize situations in which the graph may fail. So we want to graph each function and then use uh, the technology to identify the domain and range. So I'm going to put this on. Uh, just make sure your mode modes are lined up. You're in radian mode. Um, and then go to your y equals menu, square root 9 minus x squared. Hit Enter. And then I always like to hit zoom six for my standard viewing window. And then you could see uh, that it looks like half of an oval. If you hit zoom five, which is zoom squared, it squares up the viewing window. If you never noticed, the viewing window on a TI-83 is not an exact square. So if you're going from negative 10 to 10 on the X and Y axis, it's not actually going to show you an accurate picture. Then we can zoom in a little bit on this. And you'll see that this is a semicircle. Uh, half a circle. Okay, so here the domain is going to be um, negative three to three, and the range is going to be zero to three, because the x values that work for this function start at negative three and they go to positive three. If you get anything larger than three or smaller than negative three, when you square it and subtract from nine, you'd end up with a negative in the radical. The y values start at zero. Um, here, go up to positive three and then curve back down to zero. Um, if we do this on Desmos, just f of x, if you type in sqrt, um, it'll bring up the square root symbol, or you could just go down here in the keyboard and get it there. So nine minus x squared. I'm using shift six on the keyboard to get it as exponent. And again, you can use this for squaring and this for general exponents. Now here you get a more accurate picture of, of the graph and you can really see um, what the graph looks like and even click on it and drag your point around. So it's very nice. All right, so the domain negative three to three, the range zero to three. The other one we wanna do, get my calculator back here. is one over square root four minus x squared. So if we go back to the y equals menu, clear this out, you have one divided by square root four minus x squared. Make sure this is all in parentheses in the denominator. I'm gonna do zoom six again for my standard viewing window. And then it just looks like a, almost like a smile. Now here's some things to keep in mind. The numbers that you could plug into the square root would be from negative two to two. But if you plug in two or negative two, square it, you get four, subtract from four, you're gonna get zero in the denominator. So that implies that the domain is gonna be from negative two to two. Now the range, if you look at this graphing calculator and I zoom in, let's say over here to see how high up the graph goes. If I zoom in, see that it goes up and it looks like it stops right here. Let's go up a little above it and zoom in. If I zoom in, it goes up even higher. So here's actually what, what's happening. The closer you get to two or negative two, the closer the denominator is going to end up being to zero. So when you divide one by a smaller and smaller and smaller decimal number, the answer is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And Desmos is actually pretty nice for showing this. So you get one over um, four minus x 
squared, go to the home window. And you can see what actually happens is that the graph ends up having vertical asymptotes at two and negative two, which means that the y values continue to go on forever the closer you get to two or negative two on the x axis. That means that our range is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. All right, guys, that's it with some domains and ranges using technology. Hope that's helpful to you. Take care.